Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, before I start today's video on a certain topic, I just want to put a disclaimer out there that this is just what I've been doing during quarantine. I might talk a little bit today how I feel about it and how I've been going through it. And I know like a lot of people, like I saw other YouTubers doing this video and they were getting a lot of hate and nasty comments, but people are like just... I mean, everyone has the right to their opinion and how they feel about this, and um, and I'm not saying that either. I'm not going to get too into depth because I don't want that. I don't want people commenting below my video being like, are you putting just comments of the, you know, just things that are just not necessary. I'm just going to literally talk about how I've been feeling, things that have been, I guess, bothering me a little bit, and what I've been doing during quarantine. And then, um, yeah, so... Just put that little disclaimer out there, and I'm gonna begin. So, I've been furloughed from my job for about now, like, I would say about, it's been, since April 3rd was my last day, it's been about, like, I would say a month now. Um, at first, it wasn't too hard for me. The first two weeks, my husband was home with me. Um, so, it was nice to have that company, and now, every day, I'm pretty much struggling to figure out what to do, what to keep busy, and there's only so much you can do. I've been trying to find projects around the house. I've been cleaning nonstop, laundry. I've been walking around the apartment replacing things. I've um, been going to the uh, store for that reason. Like, I got us new pet pillows for the bedroom yesterday. I got a Target. They were like $4, so I just picked up pillows to replace. Because after a while, pillows, you need to replace them. They get, like, flat. They get bent. They get nasty. They don't, they're not fluffy anymore. Um, I have not been putting makeup on, as you can tell in my videos, I've been coming in raw, and I woke up like this, basically. <laughs> I have not been putting makeup on. I, like, I feel like it's such a waste to put makeup on, especially because you're going to put a mask on your face when you go out, if you do go out, and then you're just around your house. There's no reason to have makeup on. So I've been really conserving my makeup back there. <laughs> Um, my hair, I haven't been doing anything. I haven't straightened it. I haven't put a flat iron, anything to it. I've just been like really air drying it most of the time. So that's why it has like these curls because when I air dry it just, ugh, I hate the way it looks like when I air dry it. But again, not going anywhere. Um, I have to say that's the one thing I'm really missing right now is salons and nail salons because my eyebrows, oh my god, like I keep cleaning them like every day. Um, my nails, I am not used to having nails bare like this. This has been, ooh, I hate looking at my nails. Am I the only one who just hates, like, ooh, I, like, I miss my tips. <laughs> I miss, like, color, and I miss, uh I miss that. My feet, I can't wait to get a pedicure, have that nice little foot massage. Um, my hair really is not too bad. I just, my highlights, like, in the sun, really, is where you can see it mostly, are just, like, looking brassy and really need like a touch up but I've been putting my hair mostly in a ponytail or wearing a hat so you really can't see it when I go out so I've been trying to figure out ways to cope with things that are like bothering me um I do you know miss certain things like you know there's so far two holidays that um for me at least that I didn't get to celebrate with family as much as I wanted to um you know, it's just some things are just a little bit of a struggle, but I'm getting through it and just keeping myself busy and um, I've been doing the right precautions. If I do go see family, I'm six feet apart. I have a mask on. I only go on like nice days so we can stay outside. I don't go inside like my grandparents' house or my parents' house. I strictly just stay outside six feet apart with a mask on. So I'm doing all the precautions. Um, I go for drives. I try not to go into stores a lot unless like I really need to. Like, I need to get something. So, some of the things that I have been doing is um, I went to Target the other day to find, see if they had a book to read, and I have to keep reading. I'm really horrible about reading, but I don't know if you guys know of the series by Jen Han, the series for um, PSI. Um, oh, my God. With the, the series. Oh, my God. With Lara Jean on... Um, Netflix. I can't even remember the first one, but this is the third one. I have read, I didn't read the first one. I obviously just watched the TV, um, watched the movie on Netflix, and then I read the second one on Kindle, the Kindle app, and then I just got the third book. Um, 
So this is the third one. This is like the last one. So this one's called Always and Forever. So this is like the last one about Lara Jean and Peter. Um, I P.S. to all the boys I loved before, maybe? Is that the right one? Oh my god, so pathetic that I don't even know what the uh, series is. But I'm on the third one, and this was um, obviously 20% off of Target. So I got a book to start reading. Um, again, I'm really bad about reading, just sitting down reading. There's so much distractions at home. There's a TV, there's your phone, there's just... So it's hard just to sit down and say, I'm going to read this book and I'm just going to sit here and read this book. So i got to really work on that. I also downloaded, I don't know if you guys have ever heard the app called Wattpad, um, W-A-T-T-P-A-D. Um, I have it on my tablet. Unfortunately, my tablet's dead. <laughs> I forgot to charge it last night for the video. But that's an app where sometimes you have to pay for the stories or sometimes they're free. I've been reading a few stories on there. Um, I will write all the stories that I'm reading um you'll see them in the down below below bar some of them are most of the three stories I'm not reading are finished like authors have to put the chapters in for you but some of the stories are really good um I do enjoy reading them and they're based off another app that I've been using which I'm going to talk about in this video kind of saving to talk about that app last because there's a lot to talk about with that app um and then also what I've been doing during quarantine, which has been so relaxing, is coloring. Yes, adult coloring. Please tell me I'm not the only one out there that just finds this so relaxing. Time goes by so fast. I actually got my mom into doing this, so she got her own coloring book too. So she's been um, really loving it. Like, it keeps her distracted. Like, after all, she'll at the time be like, oh my god, it's time for dinner. Or it's 11 o'clock now. Like, it's like 11 o'clock at night. It's like, it's crazy. It does go past. Um, I got both of my coloring books at Walmart. Um, obviously, I got this one because it has mermaids, and I love mermaids. I haven't started coloring in it yet, but some of the pictures are very detailed, so they're going to take a lot of time. Um, I just actually did an Amazon order because I ordered more color pencils because I needed more colors. So, And then this one's called Chill and Unwind. This one was only $5.38. Why this one was eleven ninety eight, but this is like I've been coloring this already. Let's see if I can find one of the ones I colored. So here's one of the ones I colored. It's been it's really relaxing. I have to say I love coloring. I like the ones especially with the flowers. Those are my favorite to color. A lot of them have more detail. A lot of them don't. But I just find this to be so relaxing. Um, you can find coloring books pretty much everywhere. Walmart, Target. Target doesn't really have a big selection. Walmart had a better selection, or you can go on Amazon, obviously. I just did a humongous Amazon order, so hopefully I have an Amazon haul coming soon for you guys. Some things are not coming. They're coming all different dates, so it should be, it's going to be a little all over the place. But those are some things I've been doing. I've been, um, we did a patio. I did my patio finally. I did a little patio project. So at the end of this video, I did a separate clip. So you guys will see the furniture that I got and everything that I did to set up my patio. So now we can finally eat outside. And um, when it's warm out, that was my biggest project. We've been in this apartment for almost two years in August. And we're finally putting a patio set out. I mean, it's pretty pathetic. But um, I just want to be able to enjoy my outside and enjoy the beautiful weather. So that was one of the projects I did on quarantine here. I also have been just cleaning around our apartment, redoing things, and obviously replacing things, like I said. Also, another thing, I don't know if you guys find this, but I've been on Pinterest a lot, and I've been looking up uh, new recipes to try out, so that's been fun. I tried out a few recipes, like I did an egg roll in a bowl where you don't have, like, the roll. You just have what the inside of the egg roll, so it's a little more healthier. I tried, like, a fajita, chicken fajita pasta salad. I've tried um, some desserts, so I've been um, around that. And then there's also been some apps that I have been obsessed with on my phone. Obviously, TikTok has gone viral during this quarantine. Um, I got my husband addicted to that app, and he at first thought I was crazy for being on it. Now he's on it all the time. I have been actually trying out some TikTok hacks, so I've been on that. And um, I might show some of the hacks that I've been doing maybe we'll see i just been trying them out some are foods and some are related so maybe i will do a video on that that would be kind of fun to do but we will see um so yeah tiktok like i said has been one of the apps but there has been another app that i have been obsessed with um if you guys do not know or 
Well, obviously you probably know the game Sims. Um, I used to play that a lot when I was younger. And um, so this app is just almost like Sims. I wouldn't say it's 100% Sims. You don't get to like create your house or go to a, create a job or anything like that. Create basically your life and make your own money and income and all that and blah, blah, blah. So the app is called Episode. It's literally called Episode. And it is basically where it's like a thought if I could explain this app. Um, so um, it basically is where you get to make um, choices. There's storylines. Um, so there's like a person who writes the stories and you get to make choices and you get to customize your character. Main character, sometimes you don't. The author will not let you customize because she has a vision. She has art scenes that have to go with the way the character looks. Um, there's all kind of genres of the story. This is what the app looks like on your phone. Hopefully there's no like big glare, but that's what the app looks like. So I'm going to click on it just so you guys kind of see. That's what the app looks like. Um... I have my favorites, which just goes down and down. These are all the stories. Some are completed, some are not. These are ones that I'm reading. Like, look how long this is. Um, this app is free to download. Um, you always get, like, four passes, and then sometimes you get, like, rewards. Like, they'll have, like, where you get, like, rewards if you read every certain amount of hours. You get, like, extra passes. Sometimes you'll get gems. Um, or you can pay to have unlimited passes for a certain amount of time, like 18 passes for $2.99 or something like that, you know, things like that. I always pay for the unlimited passes because, especially during now, during quarantine, I'm constantly on this app a lot more than I would be when I'm working and busy and stuff. So I'm definitely on this app a lot more now. But, um, I really am addicted to this app. You can even ask my husband. I black out when I'm on this app. Like, hours will go by. I'll be like, oh my god, it's time to make dinner. Because I'll be so synced into the stories. Now, some of the stories are completed. Some of them are still going. Um, you have to wait for episodes to be released. Um, a lot of them are new stories. Um, most of the time, like, half of these stories, I'm waiting for episodes to be released right now. That's why I don't have a lot of completed stories on this app. I follow a lot of these authors on um, Instagram. A lot of these authors are in their 20s. At first, I was really embarrassed to talk about this app because I was like, oh, wow, people are going to think like I'm a little kid here, but I'm not. Like, these stories are very mature. Um, they can't be really X-rated because the app is not the mature app yet because they're still working on making it more of that. And like I said, there's a lot of genres. So there's romance, drama, Hollywood, fantasy, mystery, comedy, action, adventure, thriller. I really go for romance and drama. A lot of stories I like are like the mafia <laughs> and crime stories. I don't know, something about the mafia romance stories. I don't know, just, oh my god, they get me. Um, so, a lot of my favorite stories, um, some are completed, some are not. I would say, um, uh, let's see, from one of my favorite, favorite authors, her name's Regina, uh, Rockstore Next Door, Wicked Sins, and Read My Lips, and Just a Kiss. Um, oh, also, there's two versions of a story. There's Limelight, and then there's INK. The INK stories, I don't like. I just don't like the way the characters look. I feel like the graphics are horrible. That's just my opinion. I always go for the stories that are in Limelight. Most authors will write in INK and Limelight. I just go for the Limelight. That's all I go for. And then, um... And then from another person I like, her name is Millie. I'm reading two of her stories, Broken Rules and Exploring Temptation. That's really good. There's also, um, there's so many good ones. I could be here all day saying all of them. Stray Heart, Fallen Angel, Working for Him, Craving for You, 14 Months, Mafia Chain, The Crimson Kings, La Conti's Your Mind, Falling for Jack's Wild, Falling for Mr. Jerk, I mean, The Billionaire's Favorite, Craving for Him, Office Shenanigans, Lip Lock, Are All Monsters Evil, Never Cry Wolf, Happy Never After, Overdose, um, Chaos and, and Betrayal, Mafia's Fallen Angel, Criminal Desires, Bite My Tongue, Ever Since New York, Vampire Secret. Yeah, there's some vampire stories. Like, you're getting some Twilight feels here with some of these stories. 
But the storylines are just so amazing. The art scenes that these authors put in these stories are just so amazing. I'm actually show you some of them. One of them is actually the background of my phone right now. So let me just wait. Cause I just love the art scene. It's not even like, it's just such a beautiful art scene. Let's see if I can find it on my phone. Like you guys not tell me that's like the most beautiful art scene. This is one of the stories that I'm reading. It's called, um, medicine for my heart, but this is the art scene. Well, it's like the cover of the story, but it's such a beautiful art scene. I can't even like some of these art scenes are just so amazing. Like I said, I follow most of them on Instagram just to see when they update their stories, kind of talk to other people reading the stories. Like here's another art scene from one of the stories called Liar. So that's really cute. Another art scene that I really like. Um, let's see if there are find another art scene. Uh, like that's how mature the stories are. Like, look at that. That's an art scene from another story. Um, Intoxicate Me is one of my favorite stories, too. A lot of these are my favorites. And um, that's why I follow the authors to kind of give feedback to them and feedback to other people and talk to uh, other people that I read in their stories, too, and see their opinions on the stories. Um, the episode, like, the episode app is really addicting. If you were ever a Sims fan, I can feel like you would like this app, too. Um, if you're never a Sims fan, you might not be a fan of this app, but I feel like it's a good app to try out. Like the stories, they're actually real, like they're stories, like, and you just follow along with it and you play the character in the story. Um, sometimes there's choices that you have to make. Sometimes those choices have circumstances after those choices. Sometimes they depend, they make your ending. Your ending can be this or your ending can go this way, depending on your choices. Um, sometimes you get to customize your character. Um, pick their outfits, pick, um, you know, get to pick where they live, their money they make, what they do. The author hit does the storyline. You're just playing in that story. Um, Intoxicate Me, if you are a fan of the movie Ather, very similar, very similar to that movie. Some things that happen are very similar. So that's the reason one of those stories, I love that story because it's just very similar to that. So, you know. Um, like I said, definitely check out the app if you're a Sims fan. It's really addicting. I'm on the app 24-7. Um, comment below if you want me to tell you any stories I recommend as soon as you download the app. I will probably list all the stories below that I find that I'm addicted to. Like, I'm like, when is that author going to release in our episode? That's how addictive I am. Sometimes I'm like, do you hear me talking to you? But I'm so sunk into the app. Um, like I said, it's very very addicting. It's been really helping me get through this quarantine in the app. Um, like I said, I've been doing other things like I showed you, reading, coloring, doing things around the house, the patio project. I've been working on still my wedding photos. Uh, I don't know if my photographer, he's probably not, you know, in right now, so I haven't been emailing him anything lately, but I've been working on my albums because I still have to do all my family albums and I still haven't done them. It's been like a project itself, but so. Um... So yeah, I mean, I also been going for um, walks. I've been um, going around where I live. There's like a area where I can walk. So I've been going around, I've been exercising, been going for my walks, been highly addicted to Starbucks during this time and going through the drive-thru and getting my drinks. I've been getting smoothies. Um, have I been doing a lot of takeout? Not really. I've been just trying to support small local businesses. If I do do any deliveries or food, I've been just basically supporting been trying to support that too but also just businesses in general um so i mean yeah so i hope everyone is staying positive staying safe keeping busy during quarantine um like i said this has definitely opened up my channel more to being on quarantine pretty sad that that's been opening on my channel more um i also been selling a lot on marketplace on facebook marketplace i've been selling and trying to make some money um I've been doing Zoom, a lot of video chatting with my family members and stuff. We've been doing that at night, not every day, but just some days during the week we do Zoom. So, you know, just stay positive, keep yourself busy, keep talking to family, do your FaceTime, do your Zoom, whatever you're doing. <laughs> and, you know, these are just some ideas that I've been doing. Like I said, they've been keeping me going. I keep myself busy. Music has been very helpful. Um, just being out. Like, especially when it's nice out, like, beautiful out, fresh air just always helps. Um, so, yeah. 
And like I said, I just did a big Amazon order. So look out for an Amazon haul coming soon, whenever it delivers. Um, probably not in the next couple weeks, I think, because it said it's coming around the end of May. And then one of my packages is coming in July, but it's no rush, no rush. All right, guys. So this is the end of my video. I hope you guys are, like I said, I know I said just five minutes ago, literally. Stay positive. Stay safe. Keep yourself busy. Um, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys. So this is the patio. It's pretty small, but this is kind of like what the project I've been working on. So the patio set is from Home Depot. I will try to find the link below. This is what it looks like. The pillows are from Target. That little lantern's like for mosquitoes. I just got that at Walmart. And then the rug. I love like the uh, pop of blue. That is from Home Depot as well. And it's warm out today, so we're definitely going to sit out here and have dinner. But I just wanted to give you guys, I'm trying to not show the background because, you know, people's privacy. And hopefully. But I will definitely send a link, I mean, put a link below. Um, or at least put the information of everything on the patio. But this has been one of my projects during quarantine is getting our patio set up for the summer and for warm weather. So I am definitely um, excited. <laughs> Alright, so that's just a little clip. Um...